Hello, Commander Exegius again. Today we're going to look at setting up Voice Meter Banana and OBS so you can stream game audio without also streaming the audio from Discord. This is the best way to split the two apart so your viewers can enjoy your game sound without sharing the private chat from your Discord channel. To get started, we'll need a few pieces of software, all linked down below. We'll of course need Discord, and for this tutorial we'll be using OBS and Voice Meter Banana. Once you have all three installed, you should be able to take the defaults, get everything fired up and running. You may want to view this tutorial on a second device, as we're going to be making changes to audio, likely muting things in the process. We're going to start with the more complex part, Voice Meter Banana. As I'm going to make this as simple as possible, we won't be going into all the features of this powerful piece of software, just what we need to break apart our streaming and game audio. You'll see we have three hardware inputs on the left, with two virtual inputs in the middle. These are what we'll use to route our various channels. In the upper right, you'll see our hardware outputs. In this tutorial, I'm going to assume you have a single audio device, like a Realtek chip on your motherboard, although you could use multiple output devices if you'd like. Once you have Voice Meter Banana installed, right-click on your speaker icon in the system tray and choose Playback Devices. When the sound applet opens, make sure you're on the Playback tab and right-click on Voice Meter Input and set it as Default Device. Then, right-click on Voice Meter Aux Input and set it as your Default Communications Device. Once you've set Voice Meter as your default audio outputs, click on the Recording tab and right-click on Voice Meter Output and set it as your default device. Then, right-click on Voice Meter Aux Output and set it as your default communications device. Once that's complete, let's assign our inputs and devices in Voice Meter. For our first input, click on Select Input Device below Hardware Input 1. Select your microphone from the list. I suggest using the Windows Driver Model or WDM method. Assuming your mic is plugged in, you should now see activity on the meter. With your input assigned, let's assign our output. To do this, click on A1 in the upper right-hand corner and select your output device, likely your headphones or primary sound card. If you have more than one sound device, assign the second one to channel A2. In my example, I'm assigning my Logitech Bluetooth speakers to A2. Again, I suggest using the WDM selection. Next, we'll need to assign our microphone to the virtual output we want to send it to. I suggest using the B2 channel, which will show as voice meter aux input later on. To do this, click on B2 on the hardware input 1 channel. To make sure you're routing sound properly, click on the A1 channel and you should now be hearing your microphone live through your headphones. There may be a little delay due to voice meter processing, and while this can be reduced, we won't be covering that in this tutorial. Note that if you're using a laptop with a built-in microphone, like in my example, you'll get feedback when you select A1. Once you've confirmed this, deselect A1. Now we'll need to send the virtual outputs to the correct devices. For Voice Meter VIO, select A1 to send this to the audio device we selected earlier. This will route your game audio to the primary device so you can hear it. You'll want to do the same for Voice Meter AUX channel so that Discord audio will also be sent to that device. Next, let's switch over to Discord and click on the gear icon in the bottom left to open settings. Under App Settings, choose Voice and Video, and under Input Device, choose Voice Meter Aux Output. For Output Device, choose Voice Meter Aux Input. Basically, we want to take input from the output and send output to the input. You may need to restart Discord for this to take effect. Now, let's make sure all is working properly by testing Discord. Confirm that you can hear others and they can hear you. You can use the slider for Hardware Input 1 in Voice Meter Banana to adjust your transmit volume if you'd like. Once you confirm all is well with Discord, let's open OBS and complete the process. With OBS open, click on Settings. Select the Audio tab and make sure that Desktop Audio Device is set to Voice Meter Input VB Audio Voice Meter VIO. For Mic Auxiliary Audio Device, select your Hardware Microphone Device and click OK at the bottom right. In the primary OBS interface, you should see Desktop Audio and Mic Aux under the Mixer section. If everything is routing properly, game audio will be routed to the default device and your mic will be routed to the mic aux input. As Discord is now sending its output to the VIO aux device, that won't be picked up by OBS and therefore won't be streamed. Finally, let's say you want to send your desktop audio to Discord. You can do this by sending virtual input 1 to B2, which is the source that Discord is monitoring. Now any system sounds from your game, browser, music, etc will be transmitted to Discord, a great way to impress your friends with your great or questionable taste in media. Hopefully this tutorial lets you stream or record your favorite games while keeping your Discord conversations where they belong, private in Discord. This has been Commander Exegius. Thanks for watching.